This is another milestone for India as the Indian Space Research Organization's uh, space docking experiment on board a PSLV rocket that was successfully launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. SpaceX mission is a cost-effective technology demonstrator mission for demonstration of in-space docking using two small spacecraft launched by PSLV. Dubbed as a prelude to ISRO setting up its own space station by 2035, the PSLV C-60 mission would also make India join an elite club in achieving this feat, which is expected to take place in the coming days. Now, by mastering the docking technologies, ISRO is all set to enhance its operational flexibility and also to expand its mission horizons. Now, this technology is essential for some of India's space ambitions, like Indian on the Moon, getting samples from the Moon from the Chandrayaan 4 mission, building and operating of the Bharatiya Antariksh station. Joining us right now is ISRO Chairman Dr. Somnath. Sir, a very important day. India is joining elite club of countries. So why has it been only three countries able to do this? And how important is this when India is also joining, uh, making a milestone in space research? No, I, do, I won't answer why three. It could have been more. But uh, we are here in that program today. Yeah. Okay, we are into developing docking system because it is needed for us in the future missions. Uh, like Chandrayaan-4, Gaganyaan and many others, uh, docking is an essential capability. So we are developing when we felt the need. But the uh, technology developments of various things are happening in ISRO over the last so many years. But completing mature, reaching maturity and then getting into a mission is when we feel that it is essential. So that essentiality is felt a few uh, recent times and we have accelerated the work and made it happen. So while speaking, you had spoken about how this is going to help in uh, Luna missions, Chandrayaan 4 particularly and Gaganyaan. What exactly are we uh, you going to take out from this? See, the, here there are many things. One is uh, mechanism per se, how to connect two, hub, two objects and rigidize it to become an integral body. How to control them after it has become integrated. How to have a set of sensors which will allow them to autonomously do this docking and, con and handle I I failures that if it fails to dock properly, it should separate out and save the whole system so that it gets into entanglement and then uh, disconnect whenever it is needed. All this requires automated way of doing it. So, and requires software, hardware, testing, etc. So we are validating all of that in the space today. Joining us is uh, Dr. Jay Kumar, who is the mission director of PSLV C60, who is the man behind today's uh, success. So, so can you tell our audience in very simpler words, how is uh, the launch that happened today is very important in the future of Indian space research? See, today what we have uh, uh, achieved is mainly we have uh, injected the two SpaceX satellites. Uh, they are known as the SpaceX, they are named as SpaceX A and as SpaceX B. These are mainly meant to demonstrate uh, docking technology, which is a very important technology for uh, many of our future missions. You know, you know about the Andari, Bharati Andari Station and several other uh, missions. So this technology first we need to demonstrate. So we are trying to demonstrate it at a subscale level. That's what we have uh, currently we have uh, done. So what will be uh, done is uh, currently we have uh, just injected these uh, satellites. So after some preparatory operations, uh, about, about six to seven days, uh, these two satellites will come close and uh, then using a set of uh, sensors and other uh, aids, they will first demonstrate the docking. Then uh, they will undock and subsequently once one more attempt, uh, they will be demonstrating the docking. So this is uh, currently what uh, we are uh, where today, as on today. Sir, has, uh, we were uh, given to understand that it is going to take 95 minutes, more than one and a half hours for the mission to complete. What stage it is at now? Are we uh, expect? What are we actually expecting? Expecting uh, uh, some more uh, data from the other uh, stations. Uh, once that is confirmed, we will uh, come to know. <laughs> However, with this uh, mission that has now taken off, as we are looking at uh, when it comes to its significance and uh, what exactly would be the process from here on would be when it comes to deployment of two identical satellites that has now been designated as Chaser and Target. And each of the satellite is around 220 kgs that will orbit 470 kilometers above Earth and will then attempt to dock satellites orbiting at the speed of 28,800 uh, kilometers per hour. And then both must reduce relative velocities when it comes to mere 0 0.036 kilometers per hour. Let's in the meantime also talk about, let's in the meantime also listen in what the project director has to say on this uh, mission that has been successfully launched. What is now being said, this is the 99th launch from the Sri Harikota PSLV C-60 mission. 
joining us is Surendran, the project director of SPADEX. Sir, such an important day. We have uh, ventured into the elite club of countries with the docking experiments that we are doing. Can you explain to us what is going to happen in the next few days? Uh, because uh, Somnath sir has told to wait till January 7th. So what are we expecting to happen in the meantime? Yes, sir, our chairman was also indicating. Uh, we are now into the first day of the orbit. Uh, so it progressively increases so the inter-satellite distance to about 20 to 25 kilometers. After that, we are going to have a drift arrest phase. Uh, wherein uh, we control the distance, with, uh, means uh, control the distance between the two satellites. First uh, arrest, then we bring down that uh, distance between the two spacecraft gradually, uh, from five kilometers to 1.5 kilometers, then 225 meters, 50 meters, three meters, then go for the ducking. So this period is going to take some time. Being the first time, we want to go a bit slow and cautious. And every distance that whatever milestone we have distance fixed, we are going to have a control see the logics how it works and then further proceed further so that way only is going to take about a week to go for the docking uh, sir only three countries have done the docking so far and india has now ventured into this uh, why is it so important and how is india going to benefit with the future projects because uh, it has been said that lunar for projects for the next lunar missions is going to help even for gaganyaan it might help so how is it Interrelated, sir. See, future, our uh, two important projects are coming up. One is our Chandrayaan 4, that uh, lunar sample return mission. Mm -hmm. And another one is our uh, Bharat Jantrik stations, for which we need to have this locking mechanism for the International Space Station concept, if you go, for the intersection also is going to be something similar to that. The standards of docking, everything is going to be similar. But now it's being a low mass, our, as our chairman was telling, it's a low mass, low cost effective way of doing it. We have optimized, but it can be scaled up to meet that higher demand requirement, means higher ma mass, higher, in that case, higher fuel requirement and all that. So that way it's going to be a technology demonstrator. It can be scaled up. So this mission, which successfully places two spacecraft for conducting the space docking experiment and uh, when it comes to India's space mission, that is being lauded and praised by the Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Let's put out what he has to say in his post, where he says Bharat paces to become the fourth nation to master space docking. Kudos to Team ISRO and the successful launch of SpaceX mission. This is a grand success that opens up a new path for Bharat in space, docking technology and strengthening its role as a global leader in space. All my best wishes to our, our geniuses for the journey ahead. So this is the message coming in, a congratulatory message from the Union Home Minister as we talk about the SpaceX mission, which is a cost-effective technology demonstrator mission for the demonstration of in-space docking using two small spacecraft uh, spacecrafts that have been launched by PSLV. And according to the Space Agency, the primary objective of this very mission is to develop technology that that is needed to achieve in-space docking and undocking using two small spacecraft. And when it comes to this feat, now India joining the elite space club.